Welcome back to the Ball Kitchen. It's Josh, your host, and today we've got spaghetti carbonara. Let's do it. Firstly, we've got our pancetta. I always go smoked pancetta. I want to get that pan nice and hot. At the moment I've got it on an eight, which is pretty much there or thereabouts. <coughs> Little bit of olive oil, not too much. Get it in the pan, get it nice and hot. What I want to do is use the natural oil. Get your salt straight in. I've pre-boiled this, not to bore you all. We're waiting for that water. Now, it's only me eating tonight. What I like to do is go over a handful. Yeah? Twist. Twist, twist, straight into the pan, let it drop. Now, one thing to bear in mind, if you've got fire, as in gas, these sections around the edge will get burnt. And what you'll have is you'll have burnt tips. So just give that a little push. I've got induction, so I ain't got to worry about it. Get that, push, 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 get that in the water. Yeah, just give it a little push, but you've got to bear in mind it's got to be hot first, okay? Now let's grab a spoon. Make sure it's all in the water, water. Give it a little bit more. Bang some more salt in there. And we're good. Leave that. Right, this is all nice and hot. Turn that down. Six, medium heat. Pancetta. Get that open. Straight in the hot pan. Oh, I thought that's a good. Leave that for a second. Get that oil all over the meat. Oh, spilt a bit. Now whilst we're doing that, get out your bowl. Now for this recipe, we need two whole eggs and one egg yolk. So there's one. Two, and this one, what I do is I'll use the, uh, oh, got a straggler, crack this open, but you only want the yolk. The yolk? No, that's not right. Yeah, the yolk. Anyway, the yolk, sound is wrong. Move, move around until you just got that lovely bit of yellow, just like that, and then you stick it in the bowl. Right. What you want to do, get your fork and give it a whisk. So I'll be back in a second. Right, so in the meantime, I've whisked. The egg. What I've done, I've just used a fork. Not everyone has access to utensils, so I've kept it simple. Give the uh, spaghetti a little stir. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. Technically, you could put a little bit of oil in at the start, but it's entirely up to you. Keep this on the heat. Get that moving through. It's got a nice bit of colour, but what we don't want to see, we don't want burnt bits. We want a nice even colour. So we'll reduce that heat when you start to see it going brown. Now, weirdly enough, I haven't got any um, of the correct cheese tonight, so we're going to be using Grano Padano. 
use it on the smaller side, get that grated. And what we want is a bit for the mixture, but we want a bit to go on top, coat that lovely spaghetti and create that original carbonara film. Okay baby, two seconds. Right, so now my daughter's back upstairs. This has got a lovely coating on it. Hello, look. Mmm. Fantastic. You got your cheese? We only want about a handful. Get that in there. Check on that spaghetti because obviously it's an important part. At the moment I'm currently being bullied by my daughters so uh, apologies for any background interruption. Stirring that cheese. Again, just using a fork. Don't need any fancy utensils, it's simple as that. Make sure it's not stringy, it just goes. Yeah? I know I'm going to get slated for this. Garlic. But what I'm not doing, I'm not chopping it. I'm integrating that garlic to give a nice, just a little bit of flavour. Yeah? I'm not chopping it, I'm not using garlic flakes or anything like that, or garlic oil, just a little bit of flavour. I'm going to put that to the side, take it off the heat, and I'll be back with the next step. Right, so I always like to try a bit of my pasta, which I've just done, and then I always like to, just a spoon, Remove that and another spoon of that lovely starchy pasta water. We'll go with three for good measure. Yeah. Now we're going to drain. So drain all the water from the pasta and then we'll move on to the next one. Right, the lovely warm pasta is now resting in there. We're getting rid of some of that now. Best advice, not one, but two forks. So you get your second fork out. Get rid of your garlic. Oh, I'm gonna burn my fingers. You don't wanna leave that in there, otherwise you're gonna have some really unhappy guests. Right, we're now off the heat, no heat, okay? This water's literally covering that, yeah? Pasta goes in. Season. Lots of pepper. Covering all of that lovely spaghetti. Not a single strand uncovered. Obviously, for the, for, you know, when you're doing it for kids, you don't need to use that. One, two, three, four. Salt. Remaining cheese, just a little bit. Leave a little bit for the end. Now, this is the most important part. Get your forks ready. <coughs> Make sure that's ready to go. You pour, get it all in there. And this is the most important part. You want to be stirring, getting it all nice. So that egg's cooking, but you're not going to end up with a uh, scrambled egg. Keep going, keep going. 
que caben. Basically, what it's doing is it's cooking. As you can see, we've not got a scrambled egg. I use two forks because I think it's the easiest method. It's pretty much foolproof. You literally just bringing them together, 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 bring it over, bring it over, together, 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 bring it over. And all you're doing is you're cooking that lovely egg mixture. And then, whilst it's nice and warm, it's ready for plate. Apart from a massive mess, is a beautiful oh let's try not to uh, let that beautiful spaghetti come out carbonara and that is how you cook spaghetti carbonara for beginners bon appetit